Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. But before I get started, please click the like and subscribe button as it helps this channel grow very quickly. So it's Friday and I want to showcase everything else that Ripple has going on and other use cases other than just cross-border payments. So let's take a look. We're excited to partner with Cross Tower NFT platform and integrate this NFT marketplace with the XRP ledger, building Web3 in India and around the world. So now we're starting to see Ripple being involved in NFTs and Web3. Then we see this. What do you get when you mix cars and NFTs? Exciting new opportunities for Lotus customers, NFT collectors, and crypto fans. Explore how our partnership provides technical support to Lotus Cars in the creation of its first NFTs. Ripple partners with Lotus. So now we're starting to see Ripple expand. It's no longer just cross-border payments like everybody thinks it is. Research shows that 56% of people are more likely to purchase from a retailer that offers payment via crypto. Our blog explains how the luxury retail industry can stay on top of the latest innovations. And they're talking about their partnership with Berlin-based Lunu. And again, Ripple continues to grow even in crypto winter. What happens when the Ripple house takers on, takes on the Big Apple? Here's a recap of NFT New York City. Attendees met with NFT builders and artists. Creators HH and Panel featuring Mint NFT Official and Balmain. Fireside chat with Monica Long SF and Rachel Wolf on Women in Web 3. And we knew how big that was. We knew that was a huge event. Again, this is all during Crypto Winter. Keep that in mind. So we're excited to partner with Ducati Motor and NFT Pro to launch Web3 initiatives and bring Ducati NFTs to life using what? The XRP Ledger. We keep seeing things getting built upon Web3 and tied to NFTs. And Ripple is growing and growing even during Crypto Winter. And on this channel, we always say the same thing. If your cryptocurrency is building in crypto winter, when the sun finally comes out, they will shine the brightest. And it's, I know where Ripple's going, and I know where XRP's going. Everybody that holds XRP knows they're going to be rich very soon. But think about the rest of the value. NFTs, Web3. As the rise of NFTs promises practic practical use cases, and applications across a variety of industries, we've only just begun scratching the surface of this burgeoning tech. See how NFTs are already providing real solutions across media and entertainment. That comes from Ripple. We know NFTs have utility and use case. I also think, I said a long time ago, when NFTs first came out, I think if you buy early NFTs, they will become collectible, almost like trading cards and i think as time goes on we're going to start seeing that but it also utility use case i mean music all of it we're excited to build our partnership with thunes payments and i'm not even going to try that word extending ripple net services into morocco and the greater mena region so you now see it being more payment systems being brought on to Ripple, which we know that's Ripple is the king of cross-border payments. But I think it's even tied to the small payments inside of cross-border payments. I know, you know, XLM is going to be person-to-person -person and retail, and XRP is financial institutions or bank-to-bank. -bank. But I think there's going to be even other payments that they're not even talking about small level payments it, anything in payments is massive to me so we're excited to be shortlisting in the bis.org and bank indonesia g20 challenge for our cbdc solution 90 percent of central banks are exploring cbdc's and we know their potential to advance financial inclusion and their hurdles to adopt them 
that's talking about Ripple again being shortlisted. So we know they're most likely going to be chosen to do this. But they have to go through all the steps. But this is all within July. Think about it like that. So really enjoyed participating in the NFT Summit Tokyo this week where I met a number of Web3 innovators and enthusiasts in Japan. I truly believe that Japan has so much to offer to the development of Web3 ecosystem. Web3 is going to be massive. We know that as crypto investors. A lot of people don't even know that Web3 is coming. I've said it in other videos. I talk to people about it. I'm like, hey, did you know they're creating Web3 now? They're like, isn't that the internet? I'm like, no, well, it is the internet, but right now we're, we're in Web 2.0. Web 3 is going to be different. It's going to be decentralized. They have no idea what I'm talking about. And I tell them how cryptocurrencies are going to be tied to that, and they still don't know what I'm talking about. You know, there's people that still invest in crypto that only look at the price, and that's it. They don't look at the use case, they don't look at the utility. A lot look at just market cap. I think they're all going to be surprised when we go into a full-blown utility run. And their crypto is just sitting there while everybody else's crypto is skyrocketing. That's when they'll finally realize what utility and use case means. Then we see this. Wave 2 of our 250 million creator fund is now open. This wave will focus on projects related to music. Although we welcome applications across all use cases. So Ripple's going to get in with music also. They're going to be tied to music and NFT creations. And it's everything. Let's just face it folks. This is all in July. So announcing the Wave 3 recipients of the XRP Ledger Grants program. We're excited to award nearly $3 million in funding. As well as technical mentorship to 35 teams from 16 plus countries to build open source projects on the XRP ledger. I'm telling you right now, when Flare goes live finally, I'm Ripple is going to go up in value. XRP in my opinion is just going to be in a, on an on upward trend for a long time. Drake just released a new album and a week later Ripple opens the first office in Canada. Coincidence? I'm in all seriousness though, Toronto has some incredible technical talent and we're looking forward to meeting you. Again, they're hiring in the middle of Crypto Winter. They're opening new offices in Crypto Winter. The ledger that never sleeps. What do we see there? The XRP ledger. This is an NFT in New York City. Again, in July. Ripple XRP will be taking over the world. Think about it like that. Think about when the new financial system is up and running. And people still sit back and they can't see XRP going over $10. If you even say that on Twitter, somebody's coming out and saying, Oh, it cannot get over $10 due to market cap. Guess what, folks? I do not care about market cap. All I care about is utility and use case. We only talk about coins on this channel that have utility and use case. ISO 222. I only tell you to buy into those type of coins. Why? Because they're a safe bet. They're going to make you a millionaire very soon. Some of you most likely a billionaire depending on how many you hold. But at the end of the day, we're all going to get rich together. And all we have to do is be patient. And this guy right here is going to be the one that makes you rich very soon. And all you have to do is just sit back and hold what you hold. You bought XRP for a reason. If you're new to XRP, do a little bit of research. I do it for you all the time. I go and look at what Ripple has going on all the time. I look at its utility, its use case, real world use case. Ties to this company, ties to that company. New partnerships being built all the time. Growing massively inside of Crypto Winner. You know, being adopted all over the world. The only place it's not a cryptocurrency is inside the United States. 
And we already know that's a joke, the SEC lawsuit. So with that said, ha everyone have a great weekend. I'm going to wrap up today's video. I want to thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.